Okay. This is sounding nice, and you'll also tend to hear a very smooth tone. Hopefully you'll hear, maybe your, your tone smoothed out a little bit. Also, I find if you sit up tall, that can help smooth out your tone. You want your arms to be relaxed, not pressing in, but relaxed on top of your guitar. Now, uh, let me explain how to play the restroom. It's also like bass players play. A lot of bass players that use their fingers are doing what are called restrooms. So, to play a rest stroke, let's do it on the first string. You can even lie your finger, your thumb down or keep it here for balance. What you're going to do is when you take your index finger, you're going to bring it all the way back so it rests on the string behind it, the B string. So you're playing behind E, you rest on the B. Well, the way that George Van Epps uh, arranged the guitars, he arranged, for triads, he arranged it into sets of three strings. Three notes, three strings, three notes, three strings, three notes. So you can play, and I, I have this on here, you can see, is that you can play a chord, a G, those three. Now you can take this note and move it up an octave, and there you've got the same chord, but that's called the first envision, version. Here's the root. So then I, then you, you go. Pretty cool, huh? And there's, there's a lot of different ways of kind of creating a backbeat. But there's a really simple one where you're using the heel of the hand. And what it's actually doing is hitting your bottom few strings and it's sort of clicking against the frets. Like that. So when you speed that up, it's... That sounds like a tune, doesn't it? You kind of have this sound of, you know, a bit of a drum sound. What I'm doing, I'm doing between the thumb and now this. So instead of this being the snare, this is my snare. So. It starts out just with the rhythm. So going down and up some rooks. 